Hi again, everyone. I hope you're all having a great day. With a new CEO, merchant requirements, and now the introduction of Wish Clips, February has been a very positive month for Context Logic, aka Wish, the company that has struggled to gain meaningful market traction since it IPO'd a little over 12 months ago. So in this video, I'm going to dive into the latest Wish Clips news catalyst, as well as touch on some of the other recent developments, which at least on the surface appear to be a further signal from the beaten down meme stock on just how they intend to turn around their seemingly endless poor fortunes they have experienced since going public. So in this video, I'm going to give my take on the announcement and have a look at what it means for the stock. So let's get straight into it. So here is an extract of the announcement from Business Wire published yesterday, which has built a one of a kind shoppable video player to capture commercial inspiration like never before. The reaction so far from our users and merchants has been great. We look forward to completing the rollout of Wish Clips across our entire user base very soon. So the concept is that they will now allow merchants to create five to 30 second video clips as a means of showcasing their products. At this stage, it is available on Android in nine key markets, those being Australia, Brazil, Canada, France, Germany, Great Britain, Italy, Japan, and the USA. The concept is being built into the iOS app available from April and later expanding to the rest of the platform's global market. And on screen, here is a sample of what one of these shoppable videos looks like. This seems to be quite a positive step forward for the platform. The company has spoken on many times that they are trying to improve their merchant offerings and quality. And this video platform seems to be an initial key piece in the puzzle to achieving this. These videos, aside from being shoppable, also allow users to like and report poor quality content. It will also act like a filtering service for lower quality merchants as it will require greater effort than just throwing up stock photos and generic descriptions of items. These are the type of merchants who do take away from the legitimacy of the platform. I predict that as this feature rolls out, there will be a significant weeding of illegitimate and low quality merchants and thus improving the overall offering of the Wish platform. I think this concept may help Wish ultimately improve its user retention problem that has plagued it over the past 12 months. The short video concept has a very TikTok or YouTube shorts appeal about it. I don't know if users will be able to navigate product videos simply by swiping up, but if the Wish platform can integrate browsing like this in a fun way, it is more likely to see significant improvement in this important metric of user retention. So this introduction of shoppable videos builds on the quality filtering process that Context Logic has already put in motion as of about a fortnight ago when they switched the platform to invite only for new merchants. While these platform image developments have likely been in the works before they appointed the new CEO, it shows that the company is taking its plan seriously about turning around the image and user retention problems that have very much plagued the platform due to an abundance of low quality products and merchants being offered to users of the platform. Looking at the market reaction to this news, Wish stock flew during Tuesday's trade, gaining 41 cents or 18.3% on the day. This news catalyst regarding Wish Clips was probably further buoyed by the broader market relief that came on the news that Russia was removing some units from the border of Ukraine in a sign of minor de-escalation. That aside, it is still a good result for the stock as it was previously hanging around all-time lows, as it suffered a more pronounced downturn in our weak market times than many of its peers. We can see this previous rally that was sparked by the announcement of the platform being coming invite only. It seems the stock is really wanting to push higher, but it generally is being weighed down by the weak market sentiment of the times. From a technical side, Tuesday's rally looks set to see some corrective action with both the RSI and Bollinger Bands showing the stock spent most of the session being overbought. Further to this narrative, we see the stock did continue to push higher. However, the MACD indicator is showing decline in the histogram columns, albeit only slight. But basically, this translates to a sign of slight bearish divergence in the stock trading action. Where the stock is set to fall to, if it does indeed drop, I would be looking at the recent volume weighted moving averages, particularly the 20 day, this light blue line here, as this captures the three major catalysts for the month. So we may see a retreat down to the $2.50 mark or just below that. However, just because technical indicators are pointing to some corrective action, I think given the current macro climate, the news cycle is what is really going to influence the stock the most at the present moment. Now, I don't know if we can read into this as a result of the technical indicators, but there was a bit of a retreat shown by the stock in the aftermarket session, with it giving back 17 of the 41 cents gained in the regular session to end the low volume trade window at $2.46 per share. Is this an indicator of what we will see at the open on Wednesday? 
who knows? Now, earlier this year, I talked about how Wish actually has the capacity to be a surprising performer in a high inflation, low market sentiment environment. And I'll link that more detailed video in the description. But as some final thoughts, I suppose it is worth giving some consideration to whether the company's recent attempts to refocus and reimagine the brand that Wish is are these efforts going to be something that could potentially be detrimental to the company? The reason I think it could potentially be detrimental is that it could cause an identity problem to emerge. Right now, Wish is known for selling low cost substitute consumer goods. Now, with the focuses of the platform currently being to get better quality merchants onto the platform, I think there is a fine line that the management need to tread. If they are to become too exclusive with who they let on, would this mean the platform is starting to reposition itself as a company with a more upmarket offering than what their core user base is expecting from them? This would create somewhat of an identity problem. I do believe that the invite only model for new merchants and the wish clips feature are going to be for the better, but the company does need to be mindful that they do not want to alienate their current user base or blur their identity of what their offering actually is by trying to become another Amazon basically. By doing that, they very much lose their unique place in the market. I do believe February has shown a number of positive signs for which is much needed turnaround. It will be interesting to see how it all plays out going forward. While underwhelming Q4 results have long been earmarked, both by context logic and analysts covering the stock, it is pleasing that there at least appears to be some meaningful developments from the e-commerce platform geared towards turning around a fairly sour 2021. Anyway, what do you guys all think about wish clips and or the invite only approach to new merchants on the platform? Let me know in the comments below. Until next time everyone, may the markets trade in your favor. Cheers.